been the day before today. The question really for me is, when we're listening to stories, how do we listen? How can listening make a difference? How can listening help us to connect with each other? How can we be with each other even if we can't change things for each other? How can we still find ways to be together? Well, I need to uh, I'm going to start from the beginning of uh, when Margaret had dementia, first or Alzheimer's. Trying to take everything we in. Both worked I can work cope, process. you know, going through that stage and when no, I didn't, didn't need any help. I became a carer. And police several times no help, um, no saying that there was an imposter in his house, here. pretending so to be his wife. Um, he'd stop people walking down the street because yes, even though it was still COVID, a lot of people walking by, people didn't of, know. Him. Of, of things really, really dragged me down. And through that, I had three strokes, which I was lucky enough to get over. And then things started to get worse. But gradually, uh, with medication, quite... the imposter went away. And thankfully, so far, that, that Margaret hasn't returned. But there is now three of us. Um, there's the original Margaret. She's 21. It's the one he married. Nice figure. I wish I had that one back. <laughs> but she's, she still exists, but she lives Otherwise, away. Margaret was a very good singer. Well, of course, social worker said to her, Margaret, you, will you sing us a song? Well, then I'm not going to repeat the song because I was an ex-rugby player and Margaret, you, over the years, had heard all these rugby songs and she could play the piano. Turns up and whatever. So she and she's there pretty much every day from Sunday. You know, it's the sundown in him. Hmm, and me. Hmm. Do you want me to Yeah, and me. Here I am. Oh. Here I am. Oh. Oh. My name is Mike. I'm a carer for my wife, who's fighting cancer for some nine years. Since my wife was diagnosed, she spent nearly every day by hospital appointments and doctors in bed, morning, afternoon and night. I wake her in the morning, give her, try and give her some breakfast, a medication, shower and wash. She's back in bed. Wake her at lunchtime, she'll go back to bed after meds if she get up. In the evening, try and get her to eat. It yeah. changed me as a person from being fit, active, working, to now really unfit mentally and physically. It's hard to deal with one. Too much. Too much. Oh. It's too much. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just feel really privileged to have been with you all today and to like hear your stories. I don't think I'll forget it. <laughs> Very emotional. Yeah. I wanted to come over and be part of the conversations, but then that was interesting because it that brought up loads of connotations of the frustration of being a carer and not being. I wanted to connect with you, and and I found that really so difficult mm -hmm. to be sitting here. We do so much kind of being able to. knowing just through our eyes, seeing. There's so much we know before we say anything. Mm -hmm. We just know. Thank you so much for being here with us.